Hello everyone, just a little video on our kayak when it's all set up. We took her out yesterday, it didn't stay out long, the weather got a bit rough, so we only had a short one. So I thought as I was cleaning it up, I'd show you guys a little bit of what we've got on board. Um, one new thing we have got is a hydrofoil on the six horsepower which has seemed to work really well. It's lifted us the back up out the water as you increase your speed, it lifts you up a few inches out the water, which really makes really makes a difference. Sorry, everything's soaked where I've been cleaning everything. There we go, a little custom plate there, just mounted onto the bottom of the engine, and then the hydrofoil slipped on. And that's worked really well. I have some new rod holders, a little bit of bling on the back there. As you can see the sail raises just to get it up over your head. So you haven't got all the ropes hanging hanging down on you whilst you whilst you're out trying to fish. Uh, another thing we've got on it, we have four stretcher boards from the NHS which have been excellent as a platform to go across the ackers. Still have the trampolines underneath, stops a bit of splash coming through, but then just got these these on top, just to give you a nice working platform. You can stand on, cut bait up on, whatever you need to do. Mirage drives as normal. We have just brought a load of railblazer bits and pieces. We've got a mobile VHS VHF holder there. And we have around this side rod holder and our GoPro mount and a couple of rod holders and the bin for holding all your bits and pieces in the back. A couple of our life jackets that we wear, lightweight ones. If you fall in the water, they go off straight away. So they're really good. Um, one thing I will say with a rail blazer kit. We got a plastic rail here, but I found, as you can see, with the GoPro mount, the plastic wobbles around. So I am gonna have to change these for aluminium, aluminium T-Tracks, just to stop this, stop the wiggle. Plastic ones, don't get them, they don't work. I actually lost a rod holder yesterday, it popped out one of these whilst we were flying along, and that was that gone. So, Word of warning, get aluminium tracks. Uh, sails up. You forget how big it is until it's on the boat. And we have our dry suits, which are absolutely awesome. Stop you getting cold, wet. I think they're actually sailing dry suits, but they have been absolutely awesome in the winter. Really, really keep you warm. There we go. I think that's about it. A few blingy rod holders. Got our navigation. That's the Railblazer bucket, which has been quite useful. I did block up with scuppers as well, the two holes that are in the front here, just because you can get water when you're going along at seven knots, seven, eight knots. That will chuck a bit of water up through those. So I've just put those in there and that stops that. I find the mirage drives in the holes actually really stop anything coming up through there. Or you have got the plastic scuppers you can put in as well. Um, yeah, that's it really. There's the, there's the motor mount, which is literally not screwed to the boat at all in any way. If you look down under here, you've got two threads that will run right down through the hole and are then bolted underneath with some big rubber washers. And that thing's been brilliant. Worked really well, really solid. There we go. 
I've got a little video on the engine going with the hydrofoil. Like I say, it's popped itself out the water three or four inches, but it's really, really helped just to get that back end up because now, obviously, with all the bling and everything else, it's really quite heavy. But the hydrofoils really work well. Uh, I think that's it, guys. I'll uh, try and get some more footage of us out with the engine working so you can guys see guys can see how it goes and I think that's it look after yourself stay safe and peace out